Hello, welcome to Figure Form 45. Thank you for your time checking my video. Today, we will be reviewing the vein trench coat version from the Dark Knight Rises. This is a gold label version. Now, I know that this is basically just a reissue of the Builder figure from the Dark Knight Trilogy Wave. But if you are like me, who was not lucky enough to get, that, get my hands on that wave, because in my area, it's either uh, that wave didn't reach my local retail store or the scalpers got to me first. So, before anything else, uh, if you've seen my unboxing of this uh, action figure, link will be shown above. You will see that the first thing I notice is that there is no art card or stand given to this specific release i guess that's their way of cutting costs for the trench coat but to be honest i think it's a fair it's a fair decision because this trench coat looks really good looks really good and i hope mcperlane does more or use more cloth products in their future releases. So if you will have a look, you can see the, the trench coat fits vein pretty well. It doesn't look goofy at all. The way that the thread was placed is I think became an advantage. It looked like the design of the trench coat. It doesn't even hinder the articulation of vein. Now let's check the trench coat itself. The materials used for this trench coat is actually pretty good. Definitely an A plus for these soft goods. Whoever McFarlane contracted, whatever third party they contracted to make these soft goods, they should keep their relationship with them and do more transaction with them in the future because this trench coat looks really amazing. Now for the action figure itself. Now, as I said at the beginning, I never had my hands on that uh, Dark Knight Trilogy wave. So I don't have a copy of the Builder figure. I'm one of those person who actually took uh, took advantage that this was reissued with a trench coat in order to have it.
Looking at the head sculpt, I think it is well made. Yeah, I think it is well sculpted. Now for the articulation. Hand articulation that can do the people's pretty well. Now it does have an ab crunch, but since because of the design that he's wearing this, I guess it, it kind of limits it, but you can do side to side. Yeah, this design limits the articulation in the abdomen. It has waist rotation. And then for the leg, it can kick forward that far. Can kick back that far. So nice ankle articulation there. And then you can do the spread pretty well. So I guess that is all for this review. I assume that this will be just be a very quick review because this figure doesn't really have any accessories. It's basically the same uh, and a reissue of a build a figure although as I said I don't have a copy of that so I'm not sure if there are any improvement or changes that was made on this figure but the obvious one is that it, it was given a cloth trench coat which is amazing so for me um, this is definitely a buy this is an opportunity for those people who are like me that was not able to get the build a figure so this is your chance to get bane from the dark knight rises movie and i think this is one of mcfarlane's final releases so for me this is definitely a buy